Shows it's gonna get. Uh, uh, this song. Uh, it has a bit of a history. I actually co-wrote it with uh, a friend of mine, a prolific author named Ed Teha, T-E-J-A-A, -A, who's uh, Americana, but we were given him for that. I was doing a recording session with him and uh, <laughs> he dug out uh, an old tape. <laughs> you know, when you hear this song, John, right, I think you can do it, right? And I listened, I think he wrote it when he was about a prepubescent 14 or something, right? And it was kind of red. But so I, I rewrote the words to it. I probably changed the tune as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> so is it, is it? <laughs> doesn't wear her hair right or look like Miss America. She uses her head for thinking quite a lot. She's top of her cats. Man, she's just got a BC. She's top of her cats. She's a thinking man's dream. think of her all the time. Sometimes I think I'm losing my mind. Am I a kid again with those cheap pickup lines? Well, I tell her I love her. She just looks at me and smiles and says, Hey, Hopper John, you're such a child. You don't love me. Impossible dream. She said, she said, she said, Dream. Why are you smiling? Hmm? She said, you like the she said, do you? <laughs> she doesn't wear her hair right or look like Miss America. She uses her head for thinking quite a lot. She's top of her class. Man, she's just gotta be seen. She's top of the class. She's a thinking man's dream. Oh, yeah. George, please. He's, he's, he's winging this. He's just winging it. Sounds like we rehearsed it for at least two minutes, but now he's winging it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we love that man. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back into the real song. Impossible dream. Yeah. yeah. Is my time up? I'm going to check my watch. Oh my god, I've still got another three hours. 